Okay friends, this week starts promising. AMC scraps plans to vote on 25 million share sale. Company was going to put the share sale to stockholder vote this month. Dear Adam Aaron, happy 6th of July. What an amazing news. Thank you very much. There are many articles written about the topic, but I selected Wall Street Journal. Let's see how this whole news affects the company through the eyes of Wall Street Journal. MC Entertainment Holding is dumping plans for shareholders to vote on issuance of 25 million shares. In a filing with SEC, the company said it wouldn't put the issuance of additional Class A shares to the shareholder vote. CEO Adam Aaron also tweeted that the company didn't want to split the shareholders with the vote, which was supposed to happen this month. Let's hop over Twitter and see what exactly Adam Aaron meant with the tweet. It's no secret, I think shareholders should authorize 25 million more AMC shares. But what you think is important to us? Many yes, many no. AMC doesn't want to proceed with such a split. So we are canceling the July vote on more shares and no more such requests in 2021. Well, I guess the word dilution should be deleted with any associations with AMC, Adam Meron and the stock, right? All this should be done at least by the end of 2021 because uh, from Adam Aaron's tweet, we realized that again, he wants to propose more shares in 2022. But there is a possible catalyst coming around the corner. Adam Aaron also tweeted that many of you have suggested we show live pro sports events, esports events. We are on it, Adam Aaron said. On Saturday, July 10th, live from Las Vegas, the McGregor UFC matchup will be on AMC's big screen. Now we have diversification of the content, number one, and second thing, different sources of income. Because if the regular viewers on the average content on the cinemas are not interested, right? They can just pay for a subscription service, they don't want to go to theaters. Just think about all the people who love UFC fights, right? But, you know, they cannot pay like 500 or like $1,000 per ticket. I don't know what are the prices. I haven't visited any UFC fight, but I believe that if you really want to experience to sit on the first level, on the first row, uh, very close uh, to watch the fight, right? It's very, very expensive. Very selected people can actually afford that. But if you can watch the game on the big screen, uh, I believe that the feeling and the emotions will be very close to be sitting on the first couple of rows around the ring, right? And I know for a lot of you guys, uh, AMC is not a fundamental play, but improving the fundamentals of AMC will shorten the time until the hedge funds will get margin call, because there will be less likelihood for them to win the game. If they see that the company is improving the balance sheet, if they see that the company actually is going further further away from the crisis uh, guess what they will give up because if they look at certain companies that they're shortening and if still the chances of survivorship in the future are 50 50 they can still doubling down because they believe that they can turn the percentage to 60 40 at least or 80 20 in their favor but if they see that the company actually is stabilizing and the company actually is going further, more, further ahead, improving his business model, something we saw with GameStop, uh, guess what? They have to give up. That's all for now. Actually, this week starts very, very well. It's Tuesday. Feels like Monday. But, you know, guys, I hope this week will end up even better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the second channel. Like this video and come back for more.